How's it going guys? Alex here, welcome back to another SSR analysis video and today we are going to be taking a look at STR Super Saiyan Trunks GT and I honestly didn't expect them to bring out another Trunks just simply because there is already an agility type but I guess they decided to bring another one out and he's an interesting unit, um, I want to go ahead and get started with his leader skill of course he gives 2 key as well as a 30% stat boost to STR and tech type so he is a dual type lead um, several months ago, me and D3 had the idea that they could potentially release units like this in the future, but on a much bigger scale. For example, they will be giving free key and a much bigger stat boost instead of obviously just two key and a 30% stat boost. Unfortunately, I don't have him. I would like to have him because I would like to, um, you know, just try it out for videos. I do have pan though, so if you guys want to see a video with a pan lead, let me know in the comment section down below, and obviously I will go ahead and do it as soon as I can. Um, he causes supreme damage and he also greatly lowers defense and I've said this before I rate greatly um, greatly lower lowering attack higher than um, Lowering defense just simply because lowering defense only allows you to hit that much bit harder not too much There really isn't a noticeable difference whereas with lowering attack You're obviously going to be able to tank hits a lot more and it's a very useful feature especially if you don't have that great of a team, but they seem to be um, giving the hero types more lowering defense than lowering attack, which I guess is understandable. Um, this is the part that really surprised me though. They gave him a 100% attack boost, which is pretty damn huge. He is basically um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 135, so obviously it isn't as good as Goku's, but it's still pretty damn high. One, um, I stated this in my um, Great 8 video. 135 is acceptable. The units these days get anywhere between 135 to 150. 135 is the bare minimum. 130 is pretty damn bad though, I'm not gonna lie. 135 is and 135 is pretty damn good though. His links are solid. He has prepared yes, he has prepared for battle. Dan keeps um, trolling me for that because I said he didn't, even though when I first looked at the card, he didn't have it because of the database. But anyway, um, he has prepared for battle GT, for his battle, which is good. Obviously provides him with an additional 15% attack boost. Cold Judgment, which isn't too common, but still a decent link. Cold Warrior, uh, Cold Warrior, <laughs> um, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Vegeta family. So he does fit pretty well on a modern STR team, and we will look into that in a few moments. If I was to give, um, I, thought, I don't think they did the damage calculations on the Dokken subreddit, so I am going to be taking an educated guess and say that he is going to hit for at least 200k every single time just because of that unconditional one well I'll say, it's, I'll say it's unconditional but it happens when he performs a super attack and I would imagine that you're going to be performing a super attack the majority of the time so that is why I said unconditional but 100% uh, attack boost and keep in mind that you're getting a 240 um, boost from Goki's leader skill as well so honestly anywhere between 200k to 300k maybe even more if he's linked with certain units for example Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT and um, can go more a bit more into that right now and uh, make ourselves a pretty damn good STR team. And I showed you guys yesterday in my previous analysis video. So for those of you that did see it, you will, um, you are probably going to know what I'm going to go with. But if it ever decides to load, we can go ahead and show you guys what a good team would look like. So obviously going to grab Gogeta, Super Saiyan for Goku. Um, let's go with Super Saiyan 3 GT, Trunks. Who else am I looking for? I'm missing someone. I know I'm missing a pretty huge one. A Mega Shenron, of course. And let's put... Let's put... Uh, let's put God Goku in there. Okay, you can put other hard-hitting units. Cell, for example. He fits okay in this team. Um, he would have shocking speed with Super Saiyan 4 Goku and a Mega Shenron. But, I don't know. I feel like Cell was released at the wrong time, to be honest. There was a period where he was like really good and he was an optimal unit. Now, he kind of is, depending on what you run, but not so much, unfortunately. So, let's say we were going to go with this. This team just works really well. We have one, two, three, four units of GT. You have over in a flash between Super Saiyan God Goku, Gogeta, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. You have prepare for battle between one, two, three, four units. It, the team just works really well. And keep in mind, you have two Goku, so. Omega, I stated this in my other video, Omega Shenron, may, there may be a situation where you may not have a few links, but honestly with this team, if you aren't running, um, if you're lacking links, I don't know what you're doing with your placement, because at least, like every turn, you're going to be having one unit that links well with Shenron, 
But there can be a few problems, obviously, with Goku's leader skill because he only gives one key to villain types. Well, yeah, to villain um, STR types. So you may need to um, work with some of the placement. For example, you may prioritize keeping Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Omega Shenron together. Maybe you want to keep Goku and Shenron together. But generally, it does tend to work out. And I'm pretty sure I made a mistake there. He gets two key, not one. He gets one from each leader skill. So this is pretty much the team. Trunks fits perfectly in it. If you didn't have Trunks, um, I would probably run Super Trunks. He is a decent option, to be honest. He does have Pierce Battle and he gets pretty damn hard. Or you could run the Super Saiyan to Gohan Rebirth. Um, and I can't find him. There we go. I can never find these units. And I'm pretty sure they did gift him with Fierce Battle. Of course they did. Because if they didn't, that would have been extremely annoying. But this is pretty much one of the best teams that you can make with a Super Saiyan Trunks involved. Honestly, like one, like the four optimal units in this team are easily these four. You definitely want to run them. I guess you can play around a bit of Gogeta. But honestly... I think he is definitely needed, needed for this team, especially against certain events, just because his critical hit is, is so huge. And I've been running him as well, he's not even max level. Um, he's at Super Attack 1, he's hitting for like 200k, and he's at Super Attack 1, not max level, and that's with the Goku lead. So can you imagine how hard he is going to be hitting at Super Attack 10? Um, it's just insane. But I think I've pretty much covered everything. Trunks is a very good unit. He fits very well on his respective team. Outside of his respective team, he is a very good unit. He honestly fits pretty damn well as well on a hero team. And if I quickly go ahead and show you guys how that would work out. Go away. There we go. And because the GT link is actually more prevalent on a hero team... You can definitely implement him a lot. Um, you can definitely implement him into the optimal team. Whereas before, if you were trying to implement a unit like um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the in type, you would have a bit of a problem because with a double trunks lead, you obviously only have two key. And again, that can be a bit problematic because he doesn't share as many key links as other units. For example, the majority of the other units in this team, or the team before, would have at least fused fire to prepare for battle or shopping speed or something along those lines. They would share at least two key links um, each because, pardon me, they were all fusions pretty much. So it just kind of um, worked out well. But Super Saiyan Blue Kaiken was obviously the exception because he has like the best link set in the game alongside Super, um, Super Saiyan God Goku. So these two... Trunks, Super Vegito, where you at? Uh, Great Tanks, God Tanks, where you want to call him? And where is Vegito? Okay, uh, I can never find him because of the pies. There we go. So this is an example of a good team that works. You have Shocking Speed and Prepare for Battle shared between Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I just realized that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks doesn't really fit that well in this team just simply because... Um, literally none of these units have over and flash apart from him so he wouldn't be linking with anyone apart from the fusions and there was only one in this team and that would be um, Super Vegito but you can definitely put a unit in there like Gotenks he can steal super attacks so that was that would obviously allow you to consistently counter with um, Super Vegito and when you have units like um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito that can tank consistently and Goku when he does super attack several times the team just works really well We have at least one two three tanks in this team. Um, you have Trunks who is self-sufficient. You have STR um, GT Trunks who um, Also looks pretty damn well. He has the prepare for battle link with basically well with all of these units And he also has the GT link with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but that is it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And before I leave it actually, it just, it just came to my mind, YouTube notifications have been a bit wonky. Uh, some of you guys probably were un unsubscribed, some of you guys probably haven't been getting my notifications. So, if you haven't clicked that bell, it'll probably be up on the screen now. Go ahead and click it, it'll basically not um, notify you. Every time that I upload a video and you don't miss it, sometimes I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of annoying. So if you haven't clicked that bell and you want to be notified every time I do upload, please do go ahead and keep it on. But um, yeah, hopefully it is better now. I don't know. Um, I've rambled on long enough. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.